Hi, my name is Dr. Antonio Webb. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here in San Antonio, Texas. In this video today, we're going to be doing a lateral fusion. This is a procedure for patients who have instability of their spine and also spinal stenosis as well as arthritis. This is a procedure where I make a little small incision on the lateral side of their flank. The patient's laying on their side. I'm able to place a large cage into the spine to decompress it and also fuse it. Um, what this will do is take the pressure off the nerves and also the spinal canal. Um, and then this patient will be turned over on their back so that we can place uh, what's called percutaneous screws. So should be an easy and fun um, case and uh, we're gonna get started here soon. So this is a patient who has severe spinal stenosis at L3-4, which is a level in the lumbar spine. Um, pretty significant arthritis as well. Uh, this is a picture of his MRI here. You can see it here. The spinal canal has all the white spinal fluid. When it comes down to this level here, you see that there's like a clogged pipe. So severe canal stenosis here. This is what a normal MRI looks like. The amount of space for the spinal canal and uh, the fecal sac and also the nerves. And then this is what it looks like when it's compressed. So the goal of this operation is kind of to go to laterally to enter the uh, disc space and clean out all of this pressure that's on the spinal canal. We'll place a uh, cage and a spacer to kind of open it up, elevate it, and then turn them over and put uh, percutaneously uh, place uh, a couple of screws in this back. So it uh, should be a good case. Okay. Is everybody good on x-ray? Come to a uh, lateral first, please. Okay, uh, go down distal. I just need to see L5S1. Okay, so that's five there. Okay, go up north just a tad bit. A little bit more. Stop, please. X-ray. Okay, go ahead and mark that for me. I would make it long to the, his anterior so he can see it with the X-ray. He knows where the line up at. Okay, shot. Okay, mark that right there. I'm just marking out my borders of the this space. Shot, please. Okay, on the back of it. Shot. Have a marker, please. What I'm gonna do first is a bone marrow aspirate. This is a jam sheety needle. I'm just gonna take a sample of his uh, blood through the bone there. Have a mallet, please. So we're basically taking his stem cells. We're gonna use that for the uh, fusion. So this uh, syringe here is going into the uh, iliac crest. We're gonna draw some blood. We're gonna mix that with our bone graft. That's how we're gonna get us level to uh, fuse together. That was an incision there. Can you write the start time on the board, please? These are just sequential dilators, and we're gonna be working through these little dilators here. This little wire right here is going into the disc space, and that's what's holding, give me a little bit of, okay, anterior, a little bit of stability so this doesn't move. All right, lock that down there, Tim. Okay. I need you to attach this one here, Amanda. You want more? Loosen it up. More. Um, will the X will the X-ray machine go up higher? I'm just gonna open it just a tad bit. There. All right, take a shot of that, please. When you open your opening. Perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. Let's get the lights down now. Can you test that for me? Shoot. 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 So this is our retractor here. We went through the psoas muscle, we're retroperitoneal. And this is the disc space right there. Can I have a suction, please? So the, the residual psoas muscle is right, right here. So I'm gonna remove all that disc and this is where our cage is gonna go. Todd, please. Go down, so. Pituitary, big one. Be better. This is the uh, disc that we're pulling out right here. This is what's causing his, all of his pressure that's pushing on his nerves. So we're removing all of that disc to um, basically just decompress him. So we're going to replace this void here with the uh, spacer here in a second. 
Stop. Stop. Shoot. Shoot. So we, we completed our discectomy. That little hole down there is where the cage is going to go. So right between that little hole right there. This is the trial. This is not going into the actual patient. We're just getting it for size. So that's the that little trial, that little purple thing right there. That's between the bones at L3, L4. We're going to take an x-ray, that purple area, and see what that looks like. So this is the uh, cage with the bone graft that is in there. This is DBM, demilitarized uh, uh, bone matrix. The anterior portion is that way. This is going in that void there that we uh, created. Shoot. 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 Is, how's my hand, Tim? Shut. All right, so we put the cage in. And you can see it right there, that little metal piece right there. So that cage is between those bones. Uh, we put a large cage in there to open up the foramen to uh, take the pressure off the nerves. Okay, save that right there, please. You can pull back. So we finished the lateral part. You see the cage that's in the, uh, between that bone there. That hole for that nerve is uh, elevated because there's more room for that uh, nerve now. And we're gonna close this and then flip him over on his back, place those screws in. So this patient before surgery, he has what's called retrolithesis, which means his vertebral body has slid backwards. You see the amount of space for that hole right there for the nerve. When we put the cage in there, look how big that, that hole is. So it enlarged that area, it's called foraminal height distraction, or um, this is called foraminal stenosis, because that posterior part of that bone is in the foramen, and that causes a lot of uh, pain down the leg and also in the back. So we've got a large cage in there to indirectly um, decompress the neural elements. Now we're gonna flip the patient over on his back and then place some percutaneous screws. So she's monitoring his, all of his nerves in surgery. Um, this is something that we do as spine surgeons. We monitor their nerves. A, there is a neurologist that is off site somewhere and he's, uh, we're in constant communication during surgery. So these, he's hooked up to a whole bunch of wires uh, monitoring EMG and also what's called SSAP, which is uh, sensory and motor components of his uh, neural elements. Yeah. When we're checking the, uh, those AP films, can you uh, mag it for me? Try that, see where we are. Everybody's good on x-ray? X-ray. Shot, please. Have a knife, please. I mean, we can rotate, rotate five degrees over towards me. Section, middle. Shoot. You, buddy, lunch. Looks pretty good. Can you uh, rotate over towards me, maybe five degrees, Grace? Okay, right there. Try that. Shoot. 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 Okay, Wars. So this is a, a pedicle shoe that's going into the spine. We have our K-wire, that little black line there. This is going to go right over that K-wire and go into the pedicle. This is going to help fuse this level. We're going to put a rod over it to uh, stabilize this level. Shot, please. Okay, pull that cable. Shot. Have a screw, please. It's flexing on there. Shoot, please.
we got him decompressed and also we got the pedicle screws in for the fusion part. I think he's gonna do well. He had some weakness in his leg and uh, we'll have to see if that uh, improves, which I think it will. So that kind of concludes our day. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. It's been a fun, long day. We're gonna do it again tomorrow. But thank you guys for watching. This is Dr. Webb. Make sure you subscribe. We'll see you next time.